we're still with chapter five and uh, we're going to go to the next section in chapter five which is applying the rules debit and credit for revenue and expense and withdrawal so now the last section of, uh, in the accounting equation will be the owner equity that has revenue expense withdrawal in it now and capital definitely so we're going to be analyzing the transaction as always and we're going to do them as a t account okay now for this chapter five chapter five we're only doing t accounts now when we go to chapter six which is we're going to do in this week hopefully uh we're going to be mentioning the actual general journal okay so the journal journal that's the, uh, the more professional way of doing accounting so now this is like a you know uh, brainstorming when we start uh, before we start doing the actual journal so here we're going to be mentioning where's the locations for example expense is going to be a debit side is a plus side a credit side is a negative side while uh, cash is still a debit because it's, it's uh, an asset that's from the chapter of four so this is an old knowledge expense we mentioned the same thing now we have account payable account payable also it adds up on the credit side and it goes down on the debit side so those things you have to memorize by the way okay so memorizing this is very important um what else we need to keep on going and going and going until we reach the idea of having the balance so you need to have at the end when you do all the debits and all the credits they need to add up to the same amount because every time we do a transaction we decided in a no way no way we could have a transaction without having a debit and a credit in it i could have five debits and one credit that's fine but as long as they are equal to each other so the idea of equality here okay so if we're going to do the final check on all what we did in all the transactions and the t accounts they have to add up to all the debits have to equal the credit on that side so that's how it works now we'll just go ahead and and go to the next chapter which is chapter six okay chapter six is going to be recording transactions in actual journal so this is what we're going to be starting with so definitely we're not going to finish it in that week so we're going to take another week for it uh, with it you know so we go from here and the first uh, section will be the accounting cycle now we're going to be talking about the accounting cycle and then we're going to be talking about something called recording transaction general so now let's see uh, let's take a look at the accounting cycle this is the accounting cycle by the way you start where do you start this is probably going to take us a couple of more weeks so you need to talk about collecting and verifying source documents you talk about analyzing transactions so we're going to start like this one here and we already did this one by the way in the first three chapters with the fourth chapter and the fifth chapter we'll do it we'll we'll see we'll see how it, how it's going to be so don't worry about it uh, it's it's a new thing for you guys and um, uh, but we started we start here from from nothing you know so we start as it's as the first time so i'm going to be, be mentioning things again in this chapter uh, just to remind you of what we did before okay guys and chapter uh, section two is also actually talks about generalized journaling okay so you need to generalize it so that means you write it as a journal form so that this is the general form so you say well for example cash and you say always what you mentioned first is the debit and then it comes in the credit and you have to have an, an indentation here so it cannot be underneath each other exactly if you put it underneath it exactly it will look as as a debit so it will, will consider it as a debit so, so by mistake you you moved it cross the vargas to the all the way to the left that means anybody who reads it will think it's a debit and that's why we have to indent you see that we have a column for numbers debits and honor here we have a credit as a number so like i said this is will take us a couple of weeks because this is a very important chapter okay guys talk to you later